Hello, Scruffy fam. What is up? All right. So today is range day. <laughs> Just a little bit of range day. It has been ridiculously cold here. A lot of snow. Um, and today it is sunny and 36 degrees. Um, a couple videos ago, uh, I did a review on a Pinty Red Dot Scope. Uh, on my 1022 at an indoor range at about, you know, 10, 15, I think 17 yards was the farthest, farthest that it went. Well, afterwards, I uh, got a hold of Pinty and they said, hey, we're gonna send you two things that we'd like you to review. I said, sure. So they sent me another red dot, a little bit updated version of the one uh, that I already have on the 1022, and they sent me a laser. Well, the laser I put on my wife's new PSA, the Palmetto State Armory Dagger that we got. Uh, so I put that on there and we're gonna be taking that to the range here in the next couple days. Uh, but I put the red dot on my AR. Well, today we are gonna take it to the range. We're gonna get it zeroed. Uh, we're gonna go to the 25 yard range and to the 50 yard range. And we are gonna see how this thing does with taking my time, shooting very slowly, uh, getting everything nice and tight and then at a little bit quicker pace so what I did was I have a one inch circle that we're gonna use to zero and then I have an eight inch circle that we're gonna use at 50 yards we're gonna plink a couple rounds off uh, and just kind of see how it does uh, the upgrades to this red dot is that it has a red and green dot on it which I'm I'm liking that. Uh, it is just like every other red dot out there. It's a circular with a three MOA red dot in it. It has eight levels of brightness on both the red and the green. Pretty standard operations. I will show it to you guys when we get to the range. Um, I just don't know how well you're going to be able to hear me with people there shooting because it is warmer today. I'm expecting the range to be busy, but I guess we'll see when we get there. So uh, next stop at the range finally getting to do some plinking uh, this will be a quick one today we're gonna get to the range get this thing zeroed and then take it out to 50 and see how it does we'll see you guys at the range all right guys we're here at the range hey luckily we've got the range to ourselves that's really cool so let's talk about what we're gonna do here um, so we're gonna take this pinty and we are set up at 25 yards I have a one inch circle set up at 25 yards. Uh, you guys probably won't be able to see that. It is all the way down there. But let's take a look at this Pinty red dot here. So, um, CR2032 battery on this side. We have our windage and elevation adjustments, which we are going to be messing with today. You need a little screwdriver um, to get these set up. So let's take those off. Okay, so you need a little screwdriver to adjust those. Uh, you've got green and red, okay? Green and red, won't be able to see down it out here, but uh, the three MOA circle, both red and green, I'm gonna use the green since I'm shooting in a red dot. Um, I'm gonna be shooting this Hornaday black ammunition in 223. Um, if you guys didn't know, this ammo is made specifically for AR type platform so I'm gonna load up three rounds we're gonna send them down there I have my spotting scope set up uh, we'll look and see uh, just how off it is and we'll make our adjustments see how easy this thing is to adjust now I um, I bore sighted this at home use a little use the laser and bore sighted it so it should be fairly close uh, but it is kind of cold out here so I want to get this done as quick as I can all right let's crank up the brightness on this little green dot oh yeah one two three four five six seven one two three four five there we go that's pretty good Just got this extended let's get it up here get a nice steady platform here Okay, load this up, 
We're going to take our time. One, two, three, just like that. I'm gonna check it out my spotting scope. I'll be right back. Well, it looks like we are high, like really high. So we need to come down. All right, now I'm just gonna load We'll load up another three, send it down, and see what we did. So it totally didn't even hit the paper on that first one, but I saw the dirt high. So that tells me very high. So let's try this again. Let's take the... Okay, I am gonna see if we hit the paper on that one, and I'll be right back. All right, so we're on the paper, but we need to come down even more. So that is up, so we need to go down more. So we're gonna come down, one, two, three, seven, eight, and we need to go left. So we're going to go left. Eight. So adjustments on this are pretty easy. That that click is pretty good. So all right, here we go. Nice steady trigger squeeze. Same point. All right, well, let's check that one and see how we did. It was a really, really it was a good adjustment. So a one inch circle. Let's uh, let's send this last one down to verify. Then we'll go look at it. Let's go check that out. So another motivation is it is cold. Uh, so at my house it's 36 degrees, but out here at the range it is 32 degrees. So let's see what happened. So I know for a fact those first three didn't even hit the paper. Uh, those things were really, really high. Oh yeah, that's much better. All right, so here's what we got. So after I made that initial adjustment, we had that shot. I went left and down, and now we're right here. So we're just a little low, um, which isn't a big deal. Uh, it's a red dot. 50 yards would be the max that you would go with this thing. I have no intention of doing that today. Um, after evaluating how cold it is out here, uh, we're not going to go out to 50. Uh, we're going to stick with 25 today. I am going to put the 8-inch red target I have. So we're going to take this guy back. We're going to throw the 8 inch red target up. I'm going to load up all the ammo that I've got left into the AR. And we are just going to shoot one after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other, and see how it does. Um, it adjusted really easy and really quickly. So I've got a lot of high hopes for that. Um, this is the eight inch circle we're gonna use. I'm gonna put this down at 25. I'm gonna load up the magazines. I'll bring you guys back and then we'll just let it rip. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so we're gonna load up everything I got left. I think I've got 14 rounds of 223 out here. We've got this Hornaday Black and then I've got some of this Federal Fusion. Um, it was my hunting ammo. So I, used to hunt with this thing. Uh, this is my Delton Sport Light. Um, I used to take this hunting, uh, but <laughs> the barrel was just a little short for the hunting regulations for the state. Um, so I ended up getting a hunting rifle and that you guys will see in some of the other videos. Uh, but for home defense, this thing is a great option, or stuff done hit the fan is another great option. Plus, I was in the military for 12 years, so uh, this thing is kind of a nod to a previous life. 
So what I'm going to do now, uh, I was really working on keeping a nice steady aim with the bench. Um, I am not going to do that. I'm actually going to put gloves on because it's super cold out here. Uh, this is an AR trigger. It is the stock trigger on this thing. Uh, this was a cheap AR when I bought it, and that was a, a long time ago. I'm starting to slowly upgrade this, as most people with ARs do. I put a low-profile gas block, free-floating handguard with M-lock. Um, but I'm going to try my best with the gloves on to get a good trigger pull. We've got an 8-inch circle down there. Um, I have to wait at least two seconds between rounds here at the Conservation Club because I don't want to get banned. And I'm going to go from a standing position, and let's see what happens here. All right, 25 yards, pinty, red dot, and green dot. Man, that's fun. <laughs> All right, guys. Everything here is nice and warm now. Whew. Barrel is clear. Everything is hot. <laughs> Let's go check out how this did. Let's talk about this Pinty Red Dot, Green Dot, 3M away. Um, super bright. Very easy to install, very easy to operate, holds really well, and here you go. There is 8 inches, this is an 8 inch circle at 25 yards, standing, unsupported, it held everything in, so I'm a little left, which when we looked at those last two it was a little left, so I'll probably bring that right two clicks, um, and up two clicks. And this is going to be perfect. Uh, if you're trying to shoot steel at 25, that's exactly, you'll, you'll hit it every time. So I'm going to do one final adjustment on that to take it right to, up to, and then it'll be good to go. Uh, but for me here today at the range, I am done. It is cold out here. But what can I say, man? These are super affordable. They are in the $20, $30 range for these red dots. And guys, you don't need to spend a ton of money on a red dot if you're going to be plinking with it. This red dot maybe, I think maybe comes in in the $25, $35 range. It's on my AR. You guys saw how fast I was able to get that thing zeroed. I got it zeroed in six shots. Then I took out to 25 yards with an 8 inch circle. And you guys saw how quick I was firing standing unsupported put everything on target so man i can't say enough about these things super affordable super easy to use super user friendly their customer support is top notch guys check out the link below i do not have an affiliate code with them i get no money if you guys order this um, they did send this to me so this review is for them but they sent me the scope and that is it so Guys, again, six shots, zero, three shots was my bad. Quick adjustments, 14 rounds on target, 25 yards, standing, unsupported. Check out Pinty, and we'll see you guys next time.